Welcome everyone to Stargate. And let me just uh, let you watch the intro here. I mean intro. I just want to see the menu title before I start talking. Stargate trademark. So this was the very, I think the very first Stargate uh, game. Which was on the SNES Super Metroid, uh, uh, Super Metroid, Super Nintendo, uh, and I think this one uh, resolves around Stargate's. Um, hold on, what the fuck? L let me read that actually. A special forces marine battalion stepped through the Stargate at the time space coordinates we know as Planet Earth 1994. In the blink of an eye, they have arrived at the planet Abydos on the other side of the known universe. So yeah, that that is with from the movie Stargate 1994 which by the way was my birthday you know so this is uh, this is I think it's it's about that but I, I'm not actually sure okay I fear Stan Sandstorm has separated O'Neill from the others he's alone in hostile territory do I have to actually click to uh, continue this oh yeah with the help of Daniel Jackson the civilian Archaeologist O'Neill might find his team and return safely to Earth. O'Neill also brought a nuclear bomb to seal the Stargate. The bomb is now missing. So exactly, this is right after, or I mean, not right after. This is the Stargate 994 movies game, so to say. But let let me actually see what it is about. There we go. Is that O'Neill? <laughs> so. Yeah, also, hold on a second. Why is the uh, screen so... Oh, okay, it is actually the full screen. So, yeah, I, I watched Stargate. Uh, uh, dude, one of my favorite series, by the way. Uh, SG-1, Atlantis, all, I watched all of them. Didn't finish Universe. You might think, why? For obvious reasons. <laughs> so, uh, I, I like the... I like the uh, I really like the series, and uh, I'm now re-watching them again. I'm again at season two. I think I watched it like, I don't know, six times. Finished the whole season six times. I don't know. But, uh, man, do I wish they would bring Stargate back. So I was like, well, is there a game of this, you know? Maybe somewhere. And I found this. By the way, this movement is kind of like there, there was a horror game. Uh, I played once as I'm trying like shoulder buttons. Okay. Um. Yeah, like that one. What the fuck? It's like that one horror game I played. The movements are kind of the same. Jump. It's it. Can you duck? Oh, you can. And you can aim down. <laughs> oh, and you can crouch walk. And that's actually interesting. Oh shit, that was a... What the fuck? So yeah, I, we never saw these creatures. Oh my god, there it is. There's one. I can't aim with shoulder buttons, by the way. This is not me Metroid. So, we wait a sec. We never saw these creatures. What the fuck is this control? What the heck are these controls? Ah, shit! I'm gonna die, okay. So, we have Daniel, Daniel Jackson here, I think. Oh, so that's, that was a grenade. Wait, what are the controls? Is that how you get down or something? Jackson, where are Kowalski and my men? <laughs> they just used the movies actors uh pictures here am i glad to see you the team was attacked by raw supernatural master of this world the nagadans raw slaves helped us to escape but we left our supplies in the caves kowalski has led your men on ahead find at least five boxes of supplies for us they are hidden in the caves i'll organize the nagadans N nagadans i don't know how to s you know pronounce they will rebel and help us to defeat Ra. Good idea. Let's go. Let's go to war. So, I realized one thing. Uh, 
this actually makes you uh, run. The uh, shoulder buttons make you run. <sighs> okay. I have to say though, the animations are smooth. What is that? Freeze, old man. I do not oppose you, great warrior. These are the caves Daniel spoke of. Your supplies are here, collect them and go to Nagata. It is east of here. It's... Ah, it's that bad. Oh. Oh, shit. Dude, the, what the fuck are these controls? Yeah, really weird. The controls are really weird. Okay. Can I kill him? Whoa, that was a jump. Alright. Yo. <sighs> Shit. Dude, I'm gonna die. What the f- Shit. Dude, I'm, I'm running, dude. They don't even drop health. Dude, did we ever see caves in on Abydos? I don't remember. Shit. Whoa, why didn't he grab the ledge? Ah, oh, there we go. Oh shit. Oh shit. You only have five tries to save our people from uh, five tries. What does that mean? Is that like a fucking arcade game? When if you lose, you have to restart. I wonder if anyone ever tried to. Sp oh shit, dude, run, dude. What the f okay, you're gonna die, dude. Fuck, I can't even hit him! So, hold on a second. Okay, so if he shoots, you can aim when he shoots. Alright, alright. Dude, I'm walking slowly. What the fuck? Okay. Oh shit. So, okay, I get it. Oh shit! Maybe I'm not getting it. So, you have to stand still if you want to aim. Now I'm getting the mechanics slowly. Uh, he can just jump, great. Can I like get life or something? Dude, I can't get health anywhere. Oh, there we go. I got a little bit of health. Oh shit, dude! I was I was looking down. What the? F okay, let's just. Oh, I I didn't know I can. I didn't know I can you know climb up here. Did I just lose health by dropping down? There we go. Oh, shit. Yeah, so I was saying, did someone ever, 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 someone ever try to speedrun this? I'm actually curious, because I don't think this is a really long game. Sh shouldn't be a really long game. Unless they made it purposefully long. I mean, the movie was like an hour, two hours, I forgot. So, okay. Ooh, okay, there's another path. There's another path up there. Is 
is really weird. This is really weird. Because... Stargate... It was more about, you know, what we're gonna... See, uh, when you see the groups go through the Stargate, it's always about what new civilization are we gonna meet, what's gonna be different, what are different aliens... And this game just feels like, you know, monsters in cave, kill them. Kind of like the Star Wars game. If you guys watch my Super Star Wars... Uh, stream? You know what I'm talking about. It's like, you, you don't see Jedi fight monsters a lot. So, seeing them do that now... Oh, shit. Wow, okay. That grenade was unexpected, but I take it. Not saying we're opposed to it. I'm opposed to it. I'm just saying, you know. It's not what we're used to. Okay, grab that ledge. Jack. Oh, you can't shoot a grenade. Dude. He's just waiting there. You <laughs> fuck. Okay, wait, was there another box? Yep, there was another box. So, dude, didn't I just grab, like, five boxes? Wasn't that the objection? I thought I had five boxes, man. Let me get back. Of course, without dying. I can actually leave the uh, caves. That's actually, that's interesting. Let's see. Wow. Daniel is gone. Yeah. Yo. I'm slowly getting the hang of it. This game. Okay, yeah, let's see what's in this cavern. Cave. Oh my god. Can I not save? Is that really- is that one of those games where you can't save? Yeah. I just didn't want to see what's uh, further ahead of us. There we go, see? The mysterious city of Nagat where a race transported from ancient Egypt to work as slaves live in constant fear of their supernatural ruler Rob. We know that. So... Well, I have to end the episode here, though. guys. Thank you so much for watching. This is Stargate. Uh, let's see if it's really an arcade type of game. And, like, there's no actual save points. I might do it on on a stream, you know. Because I don't think this would fit a Let's Play if you have to start over. Obviously, there was a password thing. Maybe with the password, you can uh, load on your last location. But we'll see. Anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, if you want to check out more videos. And if you want to be notified when I go live, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.